Hello everybody and welcome to a next installment of uh, how to do stuff in Adobe Dimensions CC because uh, you know there's not enough stuff out there for how to do stuff in Adobe so today we're going to learn how to make a texture a material to apply to objects that is uh, three-dimensional and gives some depth and we're going to do this from scratch because it's not particularly the easiest and uh, it I couldn't really find anything about how to do it so I had to figure it out for myself all right so let's uh, go ahead and open Adobe Dimension and it's loading. I'm just going to create a new project real quick. So down here where it's loading I've got like some materials that I created on my own. These were built with a third with another app. It's an app that's a, uh, a phone app. You download it. It's not a computer app. Uh, I don't know what program does uh, the equivalent here of what those things do, of like what the app does, but this is basically what got put together for the app. Some decent textures, snow, red leather, snake skin, burnt skin. So I made these quickly with an app, and it's super easy, and there's another video to do that, so that's not what we're going to do. We're going to learn how to make this on our computer without using the app, and it's a little more complicated. So what we're going to do is we're just going to delete this, and we're going to start with our circle, and we're going to make a new snake texture. So let's open up Google. We're just going to source a, an image, snake skin. Go to images. Uh, click on, let's get like a large image, just because it's nice to work with. And this one looks pretty good. So we're going to view image, and we're going to save it. Desktop, new skin. Okay, so that's what we downloaded. Now, if we just use this like as it is, it's not going to like wrap very well. So what we want to do is we want to open it in Photoshop, and we got to make a few different files. First off, if we just take this size and we try and wrap it around the object, it's going to make the scales look huge. So we got to duplicate the layer a few times and just kind of size it down and tile it. So uh, I feel like three... Anywhere between three and four is a good way. You want to make sure that the uh, pictures match on their sides, because otherwise you'll get weird lines through them, and uh, it's just not, it just doesn't look very good. Um, I'm trying to do this quickly. You can spend more time. If you wanted to spend more time, a good thing to do is just sort of take an eraser tool and blur the edges a little bit, because uh, sometimes the edges of the frame don't match up perfectly and um, you know it just can create hard lines but I'm not doing that right now you know you guys can do that trial and error I'm just tiling this up flip vertical put it down a little copy it again and then flip vertical and, and alright so let us merge layers and size it down a little so it fits better in the screen. And you know what, that's, that's fine. Okay, so we're going to save this and this is going to be our color map. Um, snake color. Okay. And we got to save it as a JPEG because, uh, you know, Dimensions is a hard time reading Photoshop files. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a 3D layer, a mesh from depth from plane. Um, if you can't access your 3D properties or if you don't know how, it's either because your computer can't run 3D because it's not good enough, or you have something checked off. And I'm just going to kind of go to my preferences, because this happened to me because I was working in 3D and... Um, something got clicked off and let's see it's going to be over here in performance and you want to make sure that this is checked on use graphics processor that somehow got checked off for me out of nowhere and I spent a day trying to figure out how to get my 3D to start again. Anyways, so now that this is here you're going to want to click on the background over here the background mesh and this window is going to pop up in your properties. You're going to want to scroll down, click here, and create Generate Normals from Diffuse. <coughs> I 
Then it's going to do something like this. This is going to pop up, and basically you can come through here and decide the texture, the details, of your map, and you know, that looks fine. So I'm just going to go with that. And it brings you back to here. So again, you want to scroll down here, go to Edit Texture. Because now that you've created this texture, you can come in and edit it, and it's going to open up a separate, win separate window. This is the image you want. So you're going to want to click Save As. Uh, nope, sorry. You want to go up here to File Export, Export As, and you're going to want to do another JPEG. Export this as another JPEG, and we're going to, you know, it's a good name, whatever. And that's the normal. That's the normal now. Okay, so you're going to want to come back here to Layers. And... Oh, I forgot to duplicate. Anyways, so... You don't want to work with the 3D because we've got to go backwards now. We've got to make a, uh, a bump map. And I should have duplicated the layer I made a 3D file from, but we just back step and uh, we get back to the original fire. So we want to come up here to filter, select the layer, come up here to filter, 3D, and we're making a bump map. So it's the same thing, you know, just kind of set up your bumps. They should be set up, you know, already. And that's your bump map. Yeah, there you go. So we're going to click Save As. Save as JPEG, and we're going to name this Bump. Okay, and we're going to make a third layer, and this one we probably won't need, uh, but sometimes it gets generated, and it's just like a black picture. So we're going to fill it in with black, and we're going to save it as another JPEG. JPEG, black. Okay, so these are all the images we need to create a good texture. So let's go back to here. Let's go to our sphere material and let's these are the things these are the these are the things we want. So we want to scroll down to the shape and the properties. I'm going to click on this thing. It's going to open up this window and we're going to import our new skin normal map. It's the one with all the crazy colors on it. As you can see it's already uh, generating a nice texture to it, you know, a decent texture. It's not perfect. And you can see here this line that's coming through. That's because I didn't, like, you know, place the graphic and tile it really great. So you get this line. Basically, go into that file and make sure that you uh, blur the edges of uh, the graphic you're tiling so you don't get a hard line like this. You just kind of overlap them on the sides so that you don't get a hard line. Anyways, so back to here. Now we're going to want to go to Roughness, Import, Bump. JPEG bump. Alright. Come up here to metal. We're going to import black. And we might end up deleting that later, but we'll find out. We're going to come up here to color. And we're going to import an image. And we're going to import black snake color. Oh, wow, look at that. It's already looking pretty good. Let's see how it looks in the, uh, the render. You know, that, that's, that's pretty believable, you know, it's pretty close to uh, basically the texture I put together. I'll show you a little side-by-side. -side. Ooh, crazy. Okay. I'll move it out. Move it up a little. And this is going to be the snake texture that I already made, and of course you can see that I tiled it uh, probably by four or five, so that uh, the scales are much tinier than this one. And so, you know, things, I obviously made the depth differently. You know, the scales look way more intense here. Let's see what happens if we just delete a couple things. Let's turn off our metallic layer. Make it all the way up. Let's just make it dark. That looks, looks shiny. And of the other two layers, it's really metallic and roughness that I feel like Honestly, you can kind of take off and on and adjust personally to yourself. 
um, if you take off base color and if you take off your normal map, you're really not going to have any of the textures you want. And as you take off the roughness texture, you really are kind of subtly changing the texture here. So, you know, let's a uh, little, little general, but that's, that's it. That's how you make a, a texture. And that's how you implement it on shapes. So, yeah, maybe you can make your own textures and uh, show me some of the stuff that you made. Um, you know, I'll show you some of the other presets I made with the uh, Adobe Phone app which is called uh, something, uh, I don't remember. I'll, I'll put a link in the description to the video that shows you how to use the program. It's pretty simple, you just take a picture and then it wraps it around a thing and you just slide a bar for detail. It's, and then it updates it to your Adobe Cloud, so it's really simple. And these are some of the other textures I made with that. And again, uh, as I'm on this texture, I'm gonna turn off the metallic color just so you can see how it changes it. Makes it a lot darker. Uh, yeah, that's it. Okay, so, you know, do your stuff. Enjoy your day. Have a great time. Remember to like and subscribe because that always helps me out, especially if you found this useful. Um, so, yes, goodbye.